Everybody know what time it is. It's Tuesday. Time for me to drop that Bentley setup that I used for the AOR race yesterday. And um, it was a setup that I definitely needed to adjust. And it was sort of a fine balance of making the car oversteery enough to get through the fast corners really quickly and still be stable in the last sector. So I'm going to go through the setup after this lap. This was the fastest lap I did in the race, which I think was like a, a, a 46.2 at the time. And um, it was a little bit confusing because definitely in the first stint of the race when the fuel was heavy, the car really struggled. I did overfuel the car. However, I will adjust the fuel for those who are racing air while today. So if you are in the Bentley, I will adjust the fuel. Make sure you've got the right fuel. Um, with tire pressures, depending on how hard we are through certain corners, they may differ a little bit. But um, I'll try and get that done for you as well. But other than that, man, like, you know, talking about the Bentley around this track, I think it does struggle a lot specifically in the sort of acceleration phases through the tight corners just not being nimble enough obviously the bentley always great over the curb so i didn't really have any real you know any real bad moments on curbs per se but um you know getting the car balanced through some of the some of the uh trail braking corners can be quite tricky because it's sort of you know either you make the car really understeery and then you can't carry any speed through the fast corners or you have a little bit of oversteer and sometimes as once in a race it caught me out on this corner i believe and the car can get really loose and it's pretty hard to catch once it starts to go man but um this is a decent lap for us again this track doesn't suit the bentley okay this is not a strong track for the bentley so if you're able to compete somewhere near the front you should be pretty happy with your day's work man because the porsches and the mclarens are insane around this track they're so much quicker man like the, the fastest Bentley driver was about a second off of pole position, which you don't normally see, you know? So um, hope you guys do enjoy the video. Hope it does help you out as well. Um, I'll give you all the tips that I can going through the setup. But anyway, let's get stuck into the video. So um, I haven't really done this with you guys before, but thanks for Joe Glow who actually made this app so I could calculate my fuel, which I didn't actually use before the race, which was the important thing. I tried to freestyle it. So I was using about 2.56 a lap. So I could actually put in exactly that amount. But for the for the purpose of this video, I'm going to pull it to 2.6. I'm just going to round the number up just in case we do, you know, use slightly different amounts of fuel, should I say. So we put that as a flat 2.6 per lap. Uh, race length is an hour. But I what I normally do is I normally put an hour and two minutes because of the formation lap. Um, average lap time, I reckon... I doubt people be going any faster than a 45 max. So about 94 liters. And I, I think for my race, I put in about 100 and, 107. So you can see I've put in way too much fuel. 100 and, um, 94 liters is about 36 laps estimated. So that's about right, I would say. So we know now we only need <clears throat> 94 liters worth of fuel to get us to the end of the race. And yeah, we should be good with that. So now the fuel's sorted. We don't have to worry about overfueling the car as I did. Um, let's get into the rest of the setup. So guys, this is the setup. I adjusted the tire pressures, making them um, balanced over the whole lap because there is certain corners that really do take a lot out of the tires. If you are to then look down at your tire pressure, you actually realize that your tire pressures might seem higher that particular corner, but over the lap, it balances out differently. So it's pretty hard, as I said before, to actually read your tire pressures off of the game. I read these by Motec. Um, and some of the changes that I didn't make from what I had yesterday, I was running about 4.3 um, camber on the front, which I could definitely feel my tires going away from me um, towards the end of my stints. So we've lowered that down to about 3.9. That should allow you to be a little bit more comfortable. Um, definitely the first thing you'll notice when your tires go is the is the braking, the lack of braking into the tight hairpin corners will be the first thing, first sign that your brakes are starting to go. Um, not your brakes are going, but your, your tires are going, but it almost, almost gives you the illusion that your, your brakes are going. Um, we actually went down on the rear toe. I think I was running about 1.2 minus on the toe, and that was to get the, the rotation in the car. But in hindsight, I think that's what may have given me the, um, you know, a little bit too much oversteer at points where the tires were starting to wear a little bit. So I'm putting it down to that. I think it was having the, the, the toe too far negative but um we've put that down to minus zero zero four so um hope you guys will try that one out also my rear camber i think i put down by one click as well and this is this is it's a tough track on tires man so you really do want to keep your tires in um electronics have actually gone free free i know if you're on on playstation 
you know some people are saying that the the traction's harder for them so i don't know if you want to put the traction up higher me personally you know traction free you don't want your 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 tc cutting in too much man um as i said before 94 liters um copy the same strap for the tires at the pit stop but run 94 liters in the race um we adjusted the rear anti-roll bar i had this quite a bit higher um but it's it just it's just not needed man um the high anti-roll bar at the rear is not really needed i feel like the car doesn't over rotate in a slow corner so it's pretty you know it, it feels good enough um as it is because when you come out the corners you're not getting too much wheel spin so i feel like you can um lower your rear anti-roll bar makes it a little bit more comfortable what i would suggest as well though with the bentley when you go into the hairpins try and make the hairpins into sort of a v line sort of deep in and then rotate the car uh, midway through the corner and try and hit the apex on the way out because it really does struggle to get the rotation that the other cars do so you kind of have to focus a lot on your exits man um brake bias i'd say you want to run it between 63.6 and 63.8 um test that out which one you guys prefer steering ratio again that's down to you some people like it on 12 i like it on 11 um, I adjusted the, the wheel rate because for the setup I had yesterday, I think I had it on about 17, which again was more for the, the rear rotation through the fast corners. And, you know, when the tires were nice and fresh, it, it was nice. But again, once them rear tires start going, then it's going to become more and more of a struggle to get the car to do what you want, become more sort of loose and stuff like that. You don't really want that while, um, while driving on tires that are slightly worn again the dampers i'll give you guys a quick look at that i don't think i changed the dampers too much um we'll keep them like this and forward it to the aero balance which i went a click down on the rear ride height i was running 75 when i clicked down to 74 and originally as well i think i tested 56 in the front but i felt through some of the corners through the mid sector it, the nose just wasn't going in so we put that down to 55 the bentley pretty good over the curbs anyway but always have to be careful on this track with curbs man remember you know tire pressure is a key smashing them curbs early on in the race before your tires are up to temperature massively will affect the pressures man so bear that in mind try and take it easy on the curbs maybe on the first lap and a half after that the bentley can just do what it does when it comes to curbs absolutely monster them um as you put my front brake bias on on four Sorry, I'm not biased. My front brake ducks on four. Um, you know, toying with the fact whether you could get away with running three, and maybe that might save a little bit of the rear tires as well. If you do, you may have to adjust the rear tire pressures. So you have to bear that in mind. If you do go up on the rear brake ducks, then you will have to adjust the rear tire pressures to match. So um, you guys, um, I hope I've given you enough time to test this out before you before you're racing today, or if you have a race around Snetterton in the Bentley in the future, test these things out, man um but yeah other than that guys man the setup pretty decent all right pretty decent okay so um i hope you guys do enjoy the setup it's cryptic tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace